Hey, welcome back everybody. It's KB here and today I'm going to be showing you how to control your Android phone from PC using USB cable. So this is a requested video by one of my subscribers. So hope you all enjoy this small tutorial. And this is really simple to control your phone using PC. So first of all, we will configure our phone so we can control it from PC. So let's get into the phone first okay in the phone go to settings and go to the developer options if you don't see the developer option go into the about device and after that click on build number couple of time like two or three times and it will say developer option has been enabled once you see that you will see new settings in the settings developer options and click on it and enable it like that and after that all you have to do is enable the usb debugging make sure that this is enabled inside the developer option if you don't enable this this trick won't work so we have to enable the usb debugging click on it and that's all we have to do in the phone now let's move on to the pc side in your computer go to this website this is a github website i will put link in the description and you visit this site once you visit scroll down until you see this download section here scrcpy for windows 32 bit for windows 64 bit if you have a windows 32 bit download the 32 bit version if you have a windows 64 bit download the 64 bit version of scrcpy so i have a 64 bit i'm just gonna click on this zip make sure that you download this zip one dot zip file don't download any of other okay just click on it and it should get downloaded so i have already downloaded this it's in here in the download folder once you download this it will look like something like this so you just have to unzip it first i'm just gonna unzip it I'm just gonna do like that and once you unzip that you will see a lot of you know files inside here we have a scrcpy exe and scrcpy no console.exe so these are the files we get from the download now all you have to do is connect your phone to your pc through usb so let me do it quickly i'm gonna connect my phone to my pc really quickly and your pc should make some sound as you can see here we have a our phone connected it's a samsung galaxy note 4 as you know okay now all we have to do is once we have done all the settings in the phone we have enabled the usb de debugging and we have downloaded this and extracted this and now we just have to run the scrcpy.exe once you have connected to your PC. If you don't connect to your PC, it won't work. So make sure that you are connected to your PC. Okay, just double click on SCRCPY to run and you will see the magic. As you can see here, we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 connected. Now I can control it like that, as you can see here, from the PC. I'm using the trackpad. I'm not using the mouse. Maybe my mouse is broken right now. So as you can see here, we can control our phone from PC. So this is the one way. The second is we have the scrap uh, SCRCPY non-console, which means it won't open the CMD window. Like if we run the normal SCRCPY, you can see here we, we got the CMD too. So we can just, when we close the CMD, it closes the screen mirroring too. So if we open the SCRCPY non-console, no console.exe, uh, you will see it will open only the screen mirroring, okay? As you can see here, now I can control my phone from PC using just our USB, no Wi-Fi, no nothing, okay? So that's how it works. This is just simple as hell. You know, there used to be an older version where you have to do something like other stuff but now it's just easy so that's how it works make sure that you you have enabled the usb debugging in your phone and make sure that you download the crcpy and make sure that you connect your phone to your pc through usb and run this program and you will be able to control your phone from your pc 
that's how it works and uh, that's it hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for the this software scrcpy you can go there and get this and control your phone from pc using usb cable yeah one more thing i forgot to mention that uh, i have another phone which is mi phone unfortunately for some reason i don't know the reason I cannot control it shows the screen of this mi phone but i cannot control it from my pc the touch and the touch i can't touch it from my pc so that's why i used the samsung phone so maybe this is just only for me maybe my phone has some problem but for some reason it's not working for mi ui rom if you have a mi phone and running a mi ui rom it will it might not work so I don't know the reason, but maybe this is only just for me. So who knows? You can give it a try. But works for Samsung and other phones, but didn't work for my MI phone. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.